super, 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 super. Now create a creator as calling by himself to teach. First coming and second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, well, the word Christ, I think it's derived from the word exclude what of Christ stands for. Or Christ is Antichrist. Give Christ his love and then the Currently now we have various uh series of Unchangeable, change our rock of Gibraltar, mighty mighty key. Super, 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 super rainbow. Ooh, is this is my Whose name is shaking the world? Has come to save the whole world, to lead us to salvation. I say, who is this? Happy divine manifestation, Papa. You, you are welcome to your world. Your manifestation has brought peace, blessings to mankind. Happy birthday! I want to use this medium to say thank you, Father, on behalf of my family and the entire Edusuma family, home and abroad, for his protection, his guidance, his love towards us. All year round, he has done so much for us, and we cannot say it all, but we just say, Father, let your will be done. Thank you, Father! I want to use this song to say, Thank you to the Father in our own style, in our way, in our dialect. And uh, the song goes this way. Obu ye me o su me o i je su me o su me o o me te bi te o ri ona wa e la o su me o i je su no ge wo pa wo e no su me gba u we se baba u we se oba no ba wa to ga pe e Shaking the world, has come to save the whole world, to lead us to salvation. I say, Who is this? In the name of our Lord, His Holiness, Lomba Lomba, in the mighty power of our Lord and Master, His Holiness, Lomba Lomba, even now and forevermore. My name is His Grace Archbishop Francis Uko. By the grace of the Father, I am the chairman of the Board of Governors, all the priesthood, which is called UABCSP, Universal Assembly of Brotherhood of the Cross and Staff Priesthood Body. On behalf of all the priests in the whole brotherhood world, I felicitate with our Father, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, for his manifestation physically here on earth. We thank him because without his presence, the world would have not been what it is today. We are so much happy in his presence because his presence has changed our life has given us life, has given us joy, has given us happiness. So we stand here to celebrate and we will continue to celebrate with him. With this, on behalf of all the priests, I say, Happy birthday, Father. Happy birthday, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Happy birthday, the Rock of Ages. Happy birthday, the Omnipotent, Omnipresent, Omniscient God. Continue to reign forever and ever more. Now and forevermore. Amen. Who 
In the name of His Holiness, Olumba Lumba Obu. In the divine power of His Holiness, Olumba Lumba Obu. Now and forevermore. Amen. Papa, we come before the whole world today just to say thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming into the world on this day. Papa, we thank you for your manifestation. We thank you for keeping your promise. We thank you for coming back for your children. We, your children here at Holy Mother Elizabeth's Redeemed Home, we love you, Papa. We thank you because you love us so much and you continue to show us each and every day. There's no day that goes by that you don't take care of us, that you don't provide for us, that you don't show us how much you love us. And Papa, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you as we say happy birthday to you. We pray, Papa, that you will continue to hold on to us now and forevermore. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear father, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. In the name of our Lord, His Holiness, Solumba, Olumba, Obu. Amen. In the power of our Lord, His Holiness, Solumba, Olumba, Obu. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. With the workers in the Holy Mother Elizabeth Kitchen, I have to felicitate with our Father, His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Amen. Amen. For his divine manifestation of 2021. Father, we thank you so much for your love you have in your children. Amen. Thank you, Father, for kindness. Thank you, Father, for peace. Thank you, Father, for your divine protection. Thank you, thank you Father, for showing your love to us, us all, even to our family members. Amen. Papa, thank you for guiding us here in this kitchen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for being the one preparing the feast every day for us to eat. Papa, thank you so much, for you are everything for us, Father. Your work is so great. Your love is so great. Amen. Your joy you have imparted in us while we are cooking, Father, is so much. Glory be to thee, in the name of our Lord, the Son of the We want to use this medium to cut this wonderful cake with our Father, His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Amen. Now we are going to mention a name that is greater than every other name. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Hip 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 hip
Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Beloved Father, we, your children in Mother Elizabeth Sewing Institute, wish to felicitate with you on your divine manifestation here on earth. We thank you, Father, for your love. We thank you, Father, for your mercy. We thank you for all you have done for us. We thank you, Father, for always being there for your children in Mother Elizabeth Sewing Institute. Thank you, Father, for directing all our friends here. Thank you, Father, for being the chairman, for being the director, for being the CEO of Mother Elizabeth Sewing Institute. Thank you, Father. We have no silver nor gold to thank you rather than saying thank you father thank you father thank you father for coming down on earth sending no one now and forevermore amen point in time we wish to cut our father's cake at the mention of his holy name we are going to cut the cake his holiness alumba alumba obu to celebrate our Father on His divine manifestation on earth. We thank the Father immensely for His love, for His mercy, for protection. He has taken good care of full of life and all the entire staff 
in the name of Zelina Salomba Alamba. We thank the Father for all the visitors that visit full of life day by day, now and then for prayer, for counseling, and for baptism. We thank the Father. Let all glory, honor, praises be given to him in the name of His Holiness Olumba Olumba. We the entire staff celebrate with the Father, we join the entire universe and other establishment in BCS world to say, Papa, thank you. Papa, happy birthday in the name of His Holiness Olumba Olumba. We pray, let the Father continue to give all the staff the ability and the seal to do this work so that this blessing will follow us and our family. In the name of His Holiness Olumba Olumba. In the mighty power of His Holiness Olumba Olumba. Now and forevermore. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! Ooh, who is this man? Whose name is shaking the world? Ooh, who is this man? Shaking the in the name of the Lord, Saints Olumba Olumba. Three divine power of the Lord, Saints Olumba Olumba. For now and evermore. Amen. Beloved, before us is the Executive Council of the Christ Natural Choristers Fellowship, Aquamo State. We join our hearts who are here to join the heavenly and earthly bodies in celebrating. The divine manifestation of our God, His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Saints, Olumba, Olumba. Amen. Amen. Three divine power of the Lord, Saints, Olumba, Olumba. Amen. Even now and forevermore. Amen. With that same joy, we'll sing Happy Birthday song to our Father. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Father. Happy birthday to you. Manifestation, Miss Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obu, King of the 
Station. Your coming has truly liberated, liberated humanity. Papa, this family is so blessed to have been called into your lovely kingdom. Thank you, Father, for your divine manifestation has healed humanity, has salvaged mankind, and we are all saved through your grace. Happy divine manifestation, oh Father, His Holiness, remember, remember, remember. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Who is this man? Whose name is shaking the world? Has come to save the whole world, to lead us to salvation. I say, who is this? The Holy Spirit is now on earth. Let my people shout, Amen, Amen, Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is now on earth. Let my people shout, Amen. Of our Lord is Holiness Olumba Olumba Ovo. Amen. Show the power of our Lord is Holiness Olumba Olumba Ovo. Amen. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. And then we are here this hour to felicitate our the divine manifestation of our Father 2021. We thank the Holy Father for AGS office. We are grateful to him. Since the beginning of this year, up to this moment, it has been joy, joy, joy in this office. We have recorded a lot of successes in the name of Lord Jesus Olumbo Olumbo. Amen. We thank the Holy Father for giving us food, protecting us and guiding us, and giving us knowledge and wisdom to do his work. And we pray unto the Father that Papa, thank you for the much you've done. The Father continue to protect us, give us wisdom, give us knowledge, Amen. give us a, a peace. Amen. Let us work together Amen. in unity, in, as one family. Amen. In the name of Allah, Amen. 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 This, uh, at this moment, all of us will shout out, Happy birthday to the Holy Father for coming in this last dispensation to live with his children on earth. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. 
Thank you, Father. Ooh, is this man? Whose name is shaking the world? Has come to save the whole world, to lead us to salvation. I say, who is this? The supreme light of the universe, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Today, Father, your children are the everlasting gospel center. Join angels, spirit, and man to felicitate with thee as we celebrate your divine manifestation. Father, your reign has brought us peace. Your reign has brought us joy. Your reign has brought us salvation. Today, we have been delivered from the bondage of Satan. To thee, Father, be all honor, all glory, all power, all authority for now and evermore. Super, 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 super. Super, super. Now create a creator has come by himself to teach. First coming and the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in this holiday. Um, well, the word Christ, I think it's derived from the word Exlo. What for Christ stands for? Or Christ is Antichrist. Give Christ his love and then the Currently now we have various series Unchangeable, change our rock of Gibraltar, mighty, mighty king. Super, 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 reign forever. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of the BCS Foreigner. We are indeed glad to be on your screens at this moment. And we apologize for beginning the program very late, which is due to some technical issues. And I'm very glad we've been able to overcome those issues. And we are here with you live on tonight's edition. Edition. You're very much welcome once again and let me use this opportunity to say happy dry fasting to all BCS faithfuls and children of God the world over. We know the significance of this period and we pray that all our heart desires and the essence of this um, period will be manifested in our lives and the blessings of course will never depart from us. I wish you say amen to that. Welcome once again. I am Queen Sam and on tonight's discussion 
and we'll be talking on Watch and Pray. On what Watch and Pray is all about, we've always known that Watch and Pray is a practice in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star that's usually held every Wednesday of the week across Bethel's Pentecostal centers and nations of the world, irrespective of any BCS formations. But why is that practice being held in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? What is the significance and why does it lead to Thursdays, which we have another significant practice again being observed in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? All this and more you get to find out if you stay tuned on this program. We'll be right back shortly after this break to um, introduce to you our discussions. Super, 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 super. Now created, created, let's go on earth by himself to teach. First coming and second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in this holy. Well, the word Christ, I think it's derived from the word Exlo, what of Christ stands for, or Christ is Antichrist. Give Christ his love and then the Christ Currently now we have various um, series. Welcome back, welcome back. And yes, you're watching us live from our studios. It is a BCS forum. And like I said earlier, our topic for tonight is watch and pray. Join me as I welcome no other than His Grace Archbishop Eta John Bisson. Peace of the Father, sir. Yeah, peace of the Father is a wonderful and a spiritual period where the souls of the Christians of God mm. have been elevated to meet with their Father in heaven, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, His Holiness, Olumbo Olumbo Bu. Our beloved audience, we wish you a happy 72 hour spiritual of body modif modification now and forevermore. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us and happy drive fasting. Yeah, same to you. <laughs> All right, so we'll also have His Grace Archbishop Innocent Omini. Peace of the Father, sir. Happy 72 hours journey to the mountain of the Lord. Mm. Uh, we thank the Father for our audience who have made that time to participate in this episode. And I believe we are going to gain a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully we get to introduce our um, regular guest, His Grace Archbishop um, Joseph D.K. Unfortunately, he's not um, with us at the moment, but he will be joining us shortly. And we hope that um, you know he will also join in this topic as we hope to give a very, very, very broad explanation to the significance of what Watch and Pray is. Let me just say, uh, the Bible points out this um, particular term, Watch and Pray, in so many verses across. I haven't got to find out that a particular portion in the Old Testament also talked about watching and another context, praying in the same um, verse. However, I'd like to know what watch and pray as a term, what, is the, what does it connote? Well, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. now forevermore. Amen. Our beloved brothers and sisters, both in the kingdom and in the orthodox, we know that different religious organizations, orthodox churches have been observing this exercise either properly or not properly and uh, some have been doing it in some wrong days or in some wrong formulas but today from the supernatural teacher the soul spiritual head of the universe the king of kings and the lord of lords the holiness olumbo olumbo bu who is our master and our teacher have educated us to the consciousness in the new kingdom of god brother cross and star why what watch and pray is all about and why we observe the watch and pray watch and pray from what the father told us in the everlasting gospel volume one chapter two the title is uh, christ was not killed on thursday or was not crucified on thursday but the word itself watch and pray watch means to be vigilant to be alert, to be cautious, to be watchful, to look over, to oversee, you know, to, be, to be meticulous of the things around you, physically or spiritually, against any 
invasion of an opponent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, like if you keep a dog in the house, you keep that dog as a watchdog to be watchful, to be alert, to be vigilant, to be cautious, and to raise any alarm in case of any opponent or anything that is not, you know, working according to your expectation. Mm. So that watch is being derived from there, to be vigilant, to be alert. But prayer here is not something to pray, it's not something new. Prayer means a humble supplication or communication with our God. Anything that makes you to communicate, you know, with somebody, but in these times, with our Savior, with our Superior, with our Creator, our God Almighty. So what I pray from the Father everlasting gospel is solved, started from the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. And why is it term watch and pray? Because our Lord Jesus Christ foreknew that he was going to be killed by the Jewish nation on, on Thursday. So as soon as uh, it was on Wednesday, the disciples alerted him of the Passover feast. The Passover was a period where uh, the Lord used it you know, for the angel to pass through the houses of the, of the Jews in Egypt where every firstborn was killed. So at every year, the Jews celebrated that Passover feast in remembrance to what the Lord did to them in Egypt. So when it got to that time, the disciples alerted their master. that remember that the Passover, the Passover is coming quickly. And so if you read the book of um, 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 Matthew chapter 26 verse 1, our Lord Jesus Christ foreknew that he was going to be killed. So on Wednesday, he merely organized his last supper. Okay. In Thank the name you. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much, Your Grace, for that one. You mentioned something there. You mentioned two things I'd like to dwell on, but let's just take your last comment that on Wednesday, Wednesday. he foreknew that he was going to be crucified like the next day. And so he decided no, not the to next hold day, in two days' time. In two days' time. And mm. he decided to hold the watch and pray, right? Yeah. I'd, I'd like to know, um, Your Grace Innocent, how, was there any indication in the scripture that Christ held the watch and pray? That that's in the um, um, the mount on Wednesday. Thank you very much. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I'm praying. Amen. Amen. Yes, uh, watch and pray. According to our Holy Father, leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher, is a divine design. It's a divine design. It came on the heels of remember the two and uh, the mother of the two sons of Zebedee. Okay. Came before our Lord Jesus Christ. They request she requested that one of her two sons should be on his right and the other on his left. Hmm. When the other disciples realized our Lord Jesus Christ said that will be given by our father mm. because uh, everything has been preordained. But when the other disciples heard this, the Holy Father said there was trouble amongst them. The agitation, uh, agitation for power. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself also was concerned about who would lead in his absence. As uh, my brother has said, he was very conscious of the fact that he will soon leave. So every leader is concerned about his successor. Mm. So, the Holy Father said, our Lord Jesus Christ was concerned about who would lead, who would lead past the mantle of leadership. To. Mm. And that was why he was instructed by the Father to observe this watch and pray. Mm. Take them to the mount. You see that he separated the disciples. Three, be here and pray. Mm. The other three, they climbed up to a certain level, stay here and pray. He took the other three to another level of the mount. He distributed the two waves, three, 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 three. And then he went to the summit and prayed. He instructed all of them to watch and pray, you know, with him. But when he came down from the mountain, they were all asleep, even snoring and spelling his name, you know. And he woke them and said, can't you watch and pray with me, even for one hour? And he observed that they were willing 
to carry out this instruction. But the flesh was weak. So watch and pray is a, is a, a connotation, a spiritual connotation. Whereby the Lord wanted to find out. The Holy Father said, when our Lord Jesus Christ came down from the mountain, mm. if he had met any of the disciples watching, watching, you know, without sleeping, he would have simply passed the mantle of leadership to that uh, disciple. But because none was uh, awake, you know, as my brother has said, you have to be alert, you have to be vigilant, you have to be awake, uh, awake you know. None of them, and that was why none of them was able to withstand. All of them ran away because none of them received that power, you know, to withstand. Sorry, Your Grace, before you continue your explanation, I know I asked you about how Wednesday came into the picture as the day being observed for the watch and prayer. I also need you to explain to that um, point. But you've made something very, very important. You've stated something very, very important, and that. Um, if Christ, that the teachings of our Father states that if Christ had come and realized that some people were awake, he would have possibly passed the mantle of, of authority or leadership Power. to the person. I'd like to know, is it the mantle of being crucified or being the Son of God or being the head of the disciples? No, it is not the mantle. <laughs> Okay. He's not transferring his mission to any of the disciples. Okay. He had a mission, a peculiar one for that matter. Okay. He knew he was going to be crucified, okay. you know, according to what is written of him. Mm. But the mantle of leadership I'm talking about eh, is to lead, the one to lead the flock. Okay. Remember, he has asked Peter. Okay. Peter, love it thou me. Peter said, yes, he said, feed the, the sheep, mm. you know. But when it was time for him to receive the mantle of leadership, he was asleep. None of the disciples were awake. Okay. And that was why when they saw him, you know, when he was arrested, they look at their master who has been disappearing any time the Jews made any attempt to arrest him, you know, the Lord will disappear. But this time around, they saw the disappearing Lord, not disappearing, not a disappearing, when he was given a very dirty slap, mm. you know, and he fell down. Oh, the disciples say, no, 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 no. If fire can burn, consume the green leaf, how much more? The dry leaves. That's why they took to their heels, because none of them have received the power to withstand such a situation. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, back to you, Your Grace. You said something that they were watching and praying because they were preparing for the event that was to happen in two days' uh, um, time. If we, if we consider the fact that you've stated that the watch and pray happened on Wednesday, that means two days after would have been Friday. So are you saying that um, the events that the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ happened on the Friday? No, not at all. In short, the entire Christendom and the world have been misled and misinformed. But that was what you said. No, they, they, what are saying two days time? Passover. The Passover feast. Okay. The Jews' Passover feast was celebrated on Friday. And so he has to hold his Passover feast on Wednesday in preparation to the Passover feast on Friday. All right, thank you. In the name much. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But before you go into that explanation, now let's just finish this watch and pray. And because I'm also wondering what the disciples would have actually done at that moment. You said watching and praying means to be vigilant. I don't know because our Lord Jesus Christ came with a mission and he knew that at a certain time he was going to die. So what exactly were they praying about? What? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Or were they Christ. supposed to because they ended up sleeping? Where, In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Now forevermore. Amen. I want us to understand the facts, the, the facts or, or the exercise of the events of watch and pray mm. have not only begun and ended with our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the Father in his everlasting gospel, it is an exercise for eternity, one for commemoration, and two, the watching and the praying. The watching is for you to be vigilant because the tempter, the trial, the temptation, the army mobs, principalities and powers, this watching and praying is both physically and spiritually. There are some times in the night you wake up, there are nightmares, there are turbulence, there are dreams that are you know, threatening. Mm. 
as a child of the Father, you have to wake up, you have to pray, you have to sing, you have to commune with the Lord. You know, singing, praying, and sprinkling water, calling the, our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. the Savior intercessor, you have to tarry. Mm. You have to be vigilant because the, 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 the evil things normally take place in the night, mm. especially within the hours of 12 o'clock and 3 a.m. Mm. at the Holy Father have told us. These are periods. If you watch out today, most meetings and most uh, things that are done which are against the children of God, their meetings and discussions and deliberations are always during the dark hours. And so within the periods of tiring and praying, one, your soul will be energized and sensitized. You will be communing with the Holy Spirit. You know, when you're talking with God... You know, sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. Yes. Your grace. I don't want us to go into... A Theoretical. Yes. No, I'm not, I'm, we are going to get to that point. Mm. I'm concerned about why the disciples themselves... I'm not talking about yes. us. Yes. I'm not talking about the watching and praying for mm. us as... Okay, members. in that particular context. And in that con particular context, why were they praying? What were they praying about? Remember, it was not only the disciples that were praying. Okay. The master himself said, he prayed... Until his sweat was like blood, the enormity, the gravity of the of the exercise that is about to take place. Mm. One, how to do with the crucifixion, the killing of the savior of the entire world. Mm. So spirits, negative spirit, Luciferous spirit, armies of Lucifer, mm. all the armies of the good works mm. were all at war to fight and to ensure that they arrest the Son of Man. Okay. And so for them to have that faith, I know, beside the fact that they were physical enemies, it may also cause you to derail the path of rectitude. I know that the part of our Lord Jesus Christ to ensure that himself surrender himself to be killed. And so if you are not praying and tarrying and fasting, one, remember what Peter did. He mm. brought out his sword and caught the key of the high priest. That is not part of the arrangement. Because by so doing, it's like trying to derail the exercise. Sometimes your utterances, you can make pronouncement of negative things. Our Lord Jesus Christ has power. He can make some statement, and any action as of them may derail the salvation of the entire humanity. Okay. So you have to be praying, you have to be fasting to ensure that whatever exercise takes place there is, is in tandem with the will of his father. Okay. He has to submit himself to the will of his father. That's what this society was all about. All right. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Okay. In addition to that, okay. between our Lord Jesus Christ and mm. his disciples, mm. it was only our Lord Jesus Christ who was conscious of the moment. Yes. He was quite conscious of his uh, uh, this thing. But it is not easy because he comes with uh, flesh and blood. He knew he was going to be killed. You know, the fear of death. Remember, he had prayed, Father, if this cup is so bitter, if it is possible, take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, let your will be done. He commissioned the disciples to pray, not that they, knew, they even knew what they were praying for. Mm. You know? But just like, oh, since I'm going to write an exam, so mm. pray for me. You, that I'm inviting you to pray for me, you don't know the nature of the examination, exactly. but I know what I'm going to face. I know one lecturer there who will pass, you know, bring some terrible eh, questions, mm. you understand? So I'm just asking my family, pray for me, you know? Another way is that, you know, they should pray so that in the instant, whatever will happen be the aftermath, they are faith. Faith is very, very important, you mm. know? And anything that will separate them. I've told you that when they saw their master being slapped, you know, mm. a very terrible slap, it has never happened that anybody would raise his hand on the Lord. All this time, when you raise your hand, before you slap, the Lord has disappeared, you slap the thin air. But this is the first time that the Lord was slapped and, you know, molested here and there, and he fell down. So I was, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, this thing is mm -hmm. not easy. Okay. You know? right. So that's that. So the prayer, you know, he was in was feeling the effects of what's yes. going to happen. I don't want to dwell on that because I must say, I might 
conclude that maybe he was feeling a bit of um, withdrawal. Maybe he wanted to withdraw from his mission. No. <laughs> However, we realize that you are here with us, Your Grace, um, Archbishop Joseph DK. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we are talking on watch and pray. So far, the resource persons here in the studio have done very well um, trying to talk to us and explain the concepts watch and pray for us. I'm very concerned about what His Grace Archbishop Eta John Bisson said in his last statement about the periods of 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the night. That has been a period where manipulations and evil tendencies tend to occur most. I'd like to know why this period and why is this same period used for watch and pray and what indications in the Holy Bible points out to us that this was exactly the period that Christ went with his disciples to the mount to pray and you know probably like his grace um, Archbishop Innocent said maybe he was trying to withdraw from the mission what exactly is that indication that points out to us that this is exactly the period and also it is on it happened on Wednesday your grace Thank you very much. You are come on video because I'm seeing a blank screen. Oh, it is oh, on, it is your, on grace. your grace. It is very, it is very on. on. Check, Check this Tucker's TV, TV and screen, and screen, is, screen is, on. is on. Please continue. We can hear and see you. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. If you recollect in Matthew Amen. chapter 26 from Amen. verse 38 to 39, when our Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples that his soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death, that they should watch with him. And again, when he got there, he said he fell on his face and then prayed the Father, if it's possible, to take the cup away from him. Now, one fact is this. In the dark, a lot of things happen. That's why the scripture said, joy cometh in the morning to the children of God. All the forces of darkness, whether I call it the occultists, the mystics, the witchcraft world, the voodoo, the obeah, even the political class, most of their meetings they held, they planned their nefarious activities of destruction and doom, whom to kill and whom to spare. Most of those things take place in the dark of the night because it happens in the dark because darkness covers a lot of things Darkness covers a lot of iniquities, and most of the dangerous creatures move in the dark. That's why they call them nocturnal creatures. Most of the evil challenges people have always occur in the night. Most of the terrible dreams, nightmares they have occur in the night. The night hour is a very dangerous hour, and it has been established by many authorities and schools of thought that between the hours of one, to 3 a.m., that is when the forces of darkness move. By 3 o'clock, they depart. 4 o'clock, 3.34, the Lord descends from heaven to bless his children on earth. That's why the essence of the morning devotion, anybody that will be recalled to the dead man's home, most of them are called back at that hour. And many people who have had very dangerous experiences of near-death experiences or spiritual attack, or mental attack or psychic attack, name the nature of the attack they have, almost often they have it at that odd hour of the night. And if you remember the supper which our Lord Jesus Christ had with the disciples was not in the daytime. It was in the night hour by the time, if you calculate the time frame, by the time they must have finished the supper, then he told them and blessed them and said, now come with him and took them to that place in the garden of Gethsemane. It will be towards that midnight hour to the early hour, the wee hours of the morning, the beginning of the next day, the transition hour. And having been there, he knew that that is the hour Satan and the hosts, all the forces of darkness, all the elements of the universe, he came to fight. The, all the forces he came to neutralize, that is the hour they will be in operation. And that is the hour too he came to handle them because why he brought them at that hour? Because while in that passion, he was equally now drawing them to himself because they are the forces he came to destroy. They are the powers he came to neutralize. They are the elements he came to damage. Let me use that word now. So he brought them all together to his own environment so that now when he brings them together, he will be able to crucify them on the cross. 
Because if you remember from that garden of Gethsemane where he instituted that watch and pray and made it an eternal injunction for all ages that he said, watch and pray with me that you enter not into temptation. So it became an eternal injunction that endures from generation to generation so that when you are in that watchful mood at that hour, you will be able to overcome the forces of darkness. So at that hour, he made it so, so that man will be free. He made it so, so that you and I will know, like Bishop, like Bishop Peter Bisson stated earlier, sometimes the spirit will wake you up. There's no reason for him to wake you up. But he wakes you up because he knows there are things that is happening around you that you're not aware of. So when you go into that mood, into that mood of praying, praising God, reading your scriptures, or doing something or the other that will connect you to the source of the spirit divine, within that hour, that interim period, that interlude, all those attacks, all those forces will pass away. And then you wake up into the joy of the new day. And most of the time, when you do it and go to sleep, even if you go to sleep by 3 a.m., you see that between that hour of 3 and 4.30, you have a very peculiar revelation making you understand why the spirit of a living God woke you up at that hour to commune. Because that's when they lead people to temptation, they bind up people to destroy, they pronounce incantations, they pronounce invocations, they pronounce curses, they do so many negative things against the children of God because Satan is fighting day and night. But he knows in the day he cannot do anything. That's how Lord Jesus Christ said, I will walk while there is yet day time because when the night comes, there will be no work to be done in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So yeah, it is amen. very important for us to always take note of that hour and not regard it that any evil force is disturbing us to keep us awake. God is talking to us. Wake up, be watchful, pray, commune, connect, present your issue, present yourself before the presence of grace so that the spirit of a living God will help you and conquer for you the situation that is beyond your human control in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Your Grace, Archbishop Joseph D.K., for that explanation you've given to watch and pray. Still on watch and pray, Your Grace, in the sense of meaning. Let's come back to how it is observed, observed here, here in Bologna, 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 Earlier, we've pointed out that it begins from 12 and ends by 3 a.m. So within that period, what is being observed? Yes. From the... In the brotherhood perspective, from the hour of 12, we conduct our watch and pray by conducting a, a service. And that watch and pray service, we will use two texts from the Holy Bible. And uh, prior to the sermon, mm. we will read uh, John chapter 17. The Gospel according to John chapter 17. We will read and everybody will uh, listen to the reading. That will form the first lesson before other two texts will be announced. After that, there will be songs. We have a, a, a format for watch and I mean for what, uh, Wednesday um, uh, service, watch and pray. We follow it religiously. And during that watch and pray, we listen to the sermon. And after that, um, we go into spiritual choruses, and all, as well as healing. And then the father will bless uh, his children. And it must be from 12, from the hour of 12 to 3. The Holy Father laid emphasis on these particular three hours. In one of his watch and pray, he explained that between at the at the exactly 12 p.m. or 12 12 a.m. that all spirits will assemble before the presence of the soul spiritual head before God to receive their assignment to go and operate the spirit of good the spirit of evil the spirit whatever Mm. That is true from 12 and uh, from that hour of 12 a.m. And at 3 a.m. exactly, every spirit must have finished whatever assignment they are sent and return back and report 
to the soul spiritual head. So between the hour of 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. is a period of blessing. There is a period that angels will bring blessings to the children of God. Those who are barren, they receive children. Those who are unemployed, those who are sick, they receive healing. So that period is very, very significant. So in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we don't choke with those days. The Father mentioned three particular days that we must observe. The first day is this Wednesday night, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. 12 a.m. to 3 um, a.m. is very, very significant. The second day the Father said we must observe is Thursday, because that's the day our Lord and Master was crucified. That's the day he paid the supreme sacrifice for our salvation. And the third day the Father mentioned is Sunday, because that's the day he resurrected okay. from the dead. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for your explanation, your grace, innocence. Earlier on, back to you, Your Grace. Back, <laughs> back. back to you, <laughs> Your Grace, and that be so. Um, earlier on, you stated something, and I told you we we're coming to that after getting the basic concepts of watch and pray. You mentioned something about um, the crucifixion of Christ not being on Friday, instead on another day. I'd like you to also explain that, and also explain what exactly Good Friday is all about, if. Christ wasn't crucified on Friday. Well, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. If you read precisely Matthew 26, verse 1, you see the disciples are letting to our Lord Jesus Christ that in two days' time will be the Passover. And we know from historical archives, you know, and religious archives, the Passover from the Jewish uh, religion or the Jewish uh, practice was always held on Friday. So if the Passover was to be held in two days' time, which means just like what is being observed as watch and preview on Wednesday, it means it was on Wednesday our Lord Jesus Christ held his last supper. And for that last supper, where he now met with his twelve disciples mm -hmm. and the woman with the Nebraska bus of oil, from there he moved to Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. So he tarried from that twelve you know, a.m. until three a.m. From three a.m. He was now arrested by the mob soldiers, by the chief priests and high priests, and was arraigned before the elders of, 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 of the, the Jewish elders, the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, his greatest antagonist then. And from that 3 a.m., you know, they took him then and judgment, you know, there were accusations upon accusations. And by 6 a.m., now they passed a death sentence on him. And from 6 a.m., you know, they carried him there, that's where he suffered. You know, he tarried on Calvary mm -hmm. until he got where he will now be nailed on the cross by 9 a.m. And so from the Jewish calculation, because the Jews, the Jews calculate 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. as one day. And 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. as one night. And our Lord Jesus Christ, in the book of Luke chapter 17, he told us that he shall be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Just like Jonas was three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So we calculate from Friday, sorry, from Thursday 6 a.m. to Thursday 6 p.m. is one day. And from Thursday 6 p.m. to Friday 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. is one night. That makes one day 24 hours. Now from Friday 6 a.m. to Friday 6 p.m. is one day. From Friday 6 p.m. To Friday, uh, Saturday, 6 a.m. the morning is another one day and one night, which is two days. Now, from Saturday, 6 a.m. to Saturday, 6 p.m. is mm -hmm. one day. From Saturday, 6, 6 p.m. to Sunday, 6 a.m. in the morning, which is the first day of the week, mm -hmm. makes it three days and three nights, 72 hours, which he spent on the heart of the earth. So, actually, our Lord Jesus Christ was killed on Thursday, confirming his his revelation that he was going to spend three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And it was on that note, mm. Brother of the Cross and Star commemorates Wednesday as his watch and pray that he tarried in Gethsemane and praying. And on Thursday, the day he was killed, I know his killing 
was the, was the death of a sacrificial lamb. The blood of an innocent blood. It is that blood that has salvaged you and I. Both Christian and non-Christian. Because without that his blood that was shed, all our sins, the heap of our sins was on our head. And so as soon as he drank that cup of woe, that cup of sea, the Bible tells us that his father departed from him. And as soon as his father departed from him, he said, Eli, Eli, Laba Saba Tani. Because God has left him because he was not carrying sins. And that is sins. Your sins, my sins, our sins. It was that sins he nailed on the cross of Calvary. And declared that it is finished. That was every Thursday. The supernatural teacher has declared it a holy day. That holy day, we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Commemorating our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Sanctify our body. Purify our body. So that this temple shall be comfortable, shall be clean, shall be holy, shall be sanctified for him to dwell as his own house in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That particular day, we fast. We don't do anything sinful or evil. We try to make the day as holy as possible. At the end of the Thursday, we break it with a love feast. That love feast is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for your explanation. You've done justice. I pretty, I pretty commend you <laughs> for also explaining why Wednesday is observed as watch and pray. All right, beloved viewer, you're still watching BCS for an hour, and tonight's discussion is on watch and pray. It happens to be that today is Wednesday, also the day for watch and pray. We hope that all BCS faithfuls, after watching this program and gaining the significance of this practice or this um yes practice and uh, being held in brotherhood of the cross and star you would definitely go to your bethels or go to wherever you know anywhere you are and um, worshiping and to also observe the watch and pray we'll be right back shortly where we'll open our phone line for you to call us and share your concerns and contribution concerning this topic please don't go anywhere First coming and the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in His holy Um, well, the word Christ, I think it's derived from the word Exlo. What of Christ stands for? Or Christmas, Antichrist. Give Christ His love, and then the Christ mm. aspect. Currently now we have various uh Welcome back to the program. It is the BCS for honor. I did promise the break was not going to take long at all because we are behind time. We started very late tonight. I want to exhaust as much as we can exhaust on the topic watch and pray. Yes, our phone line is now open for you to call and the number to call is plus two three four seven zero four four eight zero two eight eight three. The number is being displayed on your screen at the moment, just on top of our scroll bar. Let's continue with our discussion on watch and pray. Your Grace, Archbishop, Joseph, DK, everything has been said on watch and pray. But there's a little concern I have concerning the, this same practice being observed across other um, Christian denominations. We have what they call the Tari Nights. Is it the same practice as watch and pray, Your Grace? Thank you very much. Thank you very if much. I can recall, initially the Tari Night concept was not familiar in the Pentecostal or born again body, even in the Orthodox churches. But I'll be bold to state because from my many experiences across the media, I've encountered many questions. And a lot of people were accusing that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star members gather in the night that that's when they acquire those their evil powers, according to them. I remember an experience I had at Uselu Road in Benin City. I visited a friend and opposite his house was an open space like the community parking in, in, in playground. And a particular church, I've forgotten the name, were having their crusade or whatever they call it. 
exactly on the hour of 12 dot the pastor and the other say hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord in jesus name they said amen he said look pay close attention because i want to reveal a very important secret to you tonight about that wicked demonic organization called o -O -O olumba olumba because many of them don't even know the name brotherhood of the cross and stuff he said when it gets to exactly this hour their members will gather go on their knees, then strike their head on the floor three times, calling oh, 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 oh. And when they do that, then they get the wicked power from their leader to do so many terrible things across the globe. That was a misconception they were fed. So, but when they started going deeper, they came, to, they imagine that when we gather at that watch and pray that there's a very special thing the Father gives us, a special power he invests in us, which we are using. Suddenly, all over, Tarinite became a vogue. You see them now, they are rushing Tarinite. Instead of owning up to call it watch and pray, because brotherhood leads the pace. Brotherhood sets the standards. Whatever the father does become the standard that the others follow. So it is not really strange that they are doing that. But they believe that we have some special power we get in it. So for that reason, they too want to key into it. But you know, if it is not the original, it cannot be the original. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, the Father leads us through a very beautiful process. The two Bible portions he gave us to use in the evening that we can use alternatively, John 17, 1 to the end, or Matthew 26, 1 to the end, all point to a very, very special, significant moment. And in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, watch and pray, great wonders take place. <clears throat> Because when the Father summons all the spirits, like His Grace Archbishop Innocent explained earlier, and all the powers and principalities and the demonic institutions and the heavenly hosts, He gives them a mandate and instruction, singling out His children that nothing will happen to them. And when we gather at that hour to watch and pray, we are directly connected to the spirit of the living God Himself. So the other night they thought, from what a lot of people told me in their questions when they wanted to find out issues about brotherhood and why we do what we do and all the ABCs of our activities in the kingdom, they make, us, they make me understand rather that their pastors and the general overseers and the founders of their respective churches, whether it is Orthodox, spiritual, born again, Pentecostal, or whatever name they call it, that they believe it is at that hour that Olumba, Olumba, Obu, our great father and God, gives us unusual powers to do exploits. So they believe that when they key into that hour, they will equally be able to access it. But ironically too, the Atari night does not take place on Wednesdays, which is actually the day we are commemorating in alignment with the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he came to lay down his life for humanity, and be able to stay again the three days and three nights in the grave to collect all powers from all thrones and principalities and dominions in all the universes of God's creations. Their own, they do it mostly on Friday. At that time already, the Lord has finished his watch and pray. He's now in the grave, he's collecting all powers, he's already doing his work. So the one of the Father is the original and it is unique and is connected to the source of spirit divine. It can never be the same in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Your Grace, Archbishop Joseph DK, for your explanation. We really, really appreciate all that you have said concerning um, the question being thrown to you. Back to the studio, Your Grace, Innocent Omini, um, all that have been said concerning Watch and Pray, I have another concern I'd like you to also um, explain. Um, the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 14, verse 8, gave us a direct instruction that we should watch and pray unless we fall into temptation. Then it also further went on to say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. My concern in that scripture, although it's giving us a direct instruction to watch and pray, is between the spirit and the flesh. Which aspect controls each other? My natural assumption is the spirit would naturally control the flesh. Well, in this case, why would the spirit be willing and then the flesh would be weak to execute the wills of the spirit? 
Thank you very much. In the ordinary parlance, we said that if wishes are horses, mm. everyone would like to ride one. So it is the willingness, you know, of uh, as a human being, you are willing to do this, you are willing to do that. You listen to the gospel, it is very sweet. According to Revelation chapter 10, mm. that an angel gave uh, a scroll, a little book, to John with the instruction that he should eat it. Mm. And when he's eating it, it will be sweet in his mouth. But when it enters his belly, it will be bitter. And John practiced it, practically ate it. And he realized that the book was very sweet. But it was bitter in his uh, belly. And the Holy Father explained that eating of that book is as we listen to the gospel. It is always very, very interesting, you know. But when the gospel settles in our belly, that is the practical aspect of it, is the bitterness. Mm. So, many a times, we are very, very willing mm. to do something. We feel we could do it. As also um, Paul ex uh, expressed it in Romans chapter 7, that he realized that there are two powers in him or what we say, two minds, mm. that when he's willing to do good, that the other aspect of him derail that willingness to do good. So the spirit is willing, is the eagerness, you know, to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Like when he said, this night one of you betray me, all of them said, oh God, whatever it will take for us to follow you to the end, you know, we will do so. And he told, he turned to Peter. He said, this night, before the cock crows, you must have denied me thrice. Peter was willing to follow our Lord Jesus Christ to the end. But the flesh was weak. You know, that, that the weakness of the flesh is occasioned by the, the absence of that power. You know, that power from on high. That was why he told them they should tarry in Jerusalem and wait so that that power from on high will be bestowed on them. And when that power is bestowed on them, at this time, the spirit will be willing and the flesh will follow. Okay. So the willingness of the spirit is the power of God. But the weakness of the flesh, you know, is uh, the, the, the man, ordinary man, cannot do anything without that divine energy pushing him. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your explanation, Your Grace. And back to you again, Your Grace, Your Tabi. So you mentioned something earlier, and I, did, I just want to do a follow-up to what you said earlier concerning the period Christ was um, detained and the period he also um, gave up the ghost on the cross. You mentioned that um, he was arrested by 3 a.m., if I get you correctly, yeah. and you also was um, um, arraigned in, in the court where yeah. he was sentenced yeah. by 6 a.m., and he was also crucified and gave up the ghost by 9 a.m. Yeah. I'd like to know, does this relate with the periods BCS observe prayer practices or observances on Thursday? Because... Watch and pray naturally leads to Thursday, um, Holy, Holy Thursday fasting. And by 6 a.m. there's always prayer, 9 a.m. there's always prayer. So what is the significance of praying at every three hours on Thursday? Well, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you have to take into cognizance of John 14, verse 26, in which our Lord Jesus Christ told his adherents and his disciples that I have so many things to tell you, but it cannot be there now. How be it when the spirit of truth, the comforter, will come? He shall come to bring everything to your remembrance. Mm. He shall also come to teach you all the truth and bring you to the accurate knowledge of the truth. How be it the back of your mother, before this, before the advent of the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the entire Christendom, Pope, bishops, general overseers, born again. Christians are not Christians, even as I'm talking now. Mm. They still celebrate 
and back back in the euphoria of the good friday in the name of the lord just Christ. Amen. so the teaching of every three three hours how also know that god will have god the father god the son god the holy spirit mm. if you check from the gethsemane from 12 midnight to 3 a.m mm. and from 3 a.m to 6 a.m from 6 a.m to 9 a.m so there must be there is a um, a coherent spiritual sequence of events taking place and so the supernatural teacher the all-knowing have fashioned it to make us understand that every three hours we have to get ourselves connected with the divinity which is the holy spirit and he has given us equivalent bible portions by 6 a.m matthew 27 1 to 44 by 9 a.m um uh, mark you know mark uh, mark 15 and by by 12 12 midday john 19 and by 3 p.m luke 23 and by 6 p.m that luke 20, 20, 23 were 50 to the end these are all the things the divine things which he has brought you know to package for us to learn to commemorate that divine death of our lord jesus christ so i'm not in a place to say why it's been so but it is the perfect teachings and arrangement of the promised comforter, comforter to commemorate his first advent now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for your explanation. Um, we have gotten the math verses of Good Friday from um, our resource persons or also the significance of the watch and pray being observed by Christ in Jessamine. And now we are now going to take some comments from our viewers online who have also been contributing so far via our YouTube channel, BCS Star Cross Television. Let's take your comments. This is a time for you to ask your questions. Our phone line is also open for you to call in and ask questions concerning the topic, watch and pray. The aspect you don't understand, your time is now for you to ask. Let's go. Our very first comment is coming from Her Eminence Doris Hansen. And Her Eminence is saying, Peace of the Father, peace and blessings, everyone in the studio. And happy three days, three nights dry fasting. Same to you, Your Eminence. Another comment from um, Gladys Onyebo. Nice to be here today. Happy 72 hours dry fasting to all children of Abba Father, the world over. Same to you, Sister Gladys. Blessing Benedict is saying, Good evening, everyone. Happy 72 hours. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Um, Gemma James is saying, Thank you, Father. Happy 22 hours dry fasting. Same to you, Gemma. Ada Eboka is saying, Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. That we have, you know, as usual, reg um, comments and contributions from Her Eminence Doris Hansen. And she is saying, uh, Matthew 26, verse 41, Watch and pray. These two are very justly put together. There is and ought to be a watching before praying and unto it a watching all opportunities the most suitable that ye enter not into temptation not that they might not be tempted at all for none of the saints have been or are without temptations and they are needful for them as it is the will of god okay they should be attended with them and he has made gracious provision for their health and relief under them that they might not enter into them throw themselves in the way of temptation be surprised by them at an unawares fall into head fall into them headlong be immersed in them fall by them and be overcome by them all right she's asking what are the benefits and significance okay she's answering again but take heed to yourself lest your hearts be weighed down with a uh, caressing drunkenness and cares of this life and that they come unto you um unexpectedly for each it will come as a snare on all okay because of the break i don't really understand the sequence of your comments and, and your eminence stories i but i hope people that are reading probably must have seen how it appeared um you can gain more knowledge from our and um, the contributions given by sister doris hansen moving forward we have another comment from kelly solomon and kelly solomon is saying perfect peace of the father Happy 72 hour dry fasting. Abba Father, thank you for giving us the strength. Amen. Amen. That strength is much needed. Thank you so much for praying for it. All right, let's move forward. We have another comment from David Ayesang, and he say, Perfect peace and blessings, beloved children of God. Thank you so much. Another comment from Gladys Onyebo Watch and pray is a unique observation in the fourth BCS. We watch and pray as to not so as not to enter into temptations 
Thank you so much, Sister Gladys. David Ayesang again is saying, nice Bible class topic, watch and pray. Thank you. We we are glad that you find it very interesting. Another comment from Gladys Onyebo. Very interesting and educative Bible class. The true concept of watch and pray significance is found in BTS. We are indeed the luckiest generations to be taught by the greatest teacher. Thank you so much. Amen and amen. Another comment from, okay, a comment from Vena <laughs> Books, his grace, Vena Books. He said, perfect peace, everyone. Great to see our uniquely intelligent presenter, Queen Sam, and eloquent speakers, his grace, Omini, his grace, Bissell, and his grace, DK. Thanks for the wisdom impacted so far. Happy dry fast. Thank you so much for your comments, your grace. Moving forward, we have another comment from Kelly Solomon. I love watching Starcrest TV. Watch and pray topic is very important. I thank each of his grace for taking their time to enlighten us. Peace of the Father be with us. I am enjoying oh, so this topic. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kelly Solomon, for your contribution. We are glad that you find this topic very interesting. Another comment from Blessing Benedict. Lovely topic. Thank you so much. I think those are the comments we have so far on our YouTube channel. Keep your comments coming. Keep your questions coming. Now we are still live on your screens so that we can answer all your questions and concern concerning this topic watch and pray another concern of my concerning this topic i always relate my concerns and your grace just have decay we've had everything that have been said concerning watch and pray i'm particularly or i would like to know even after the crucifixion of our lord jesus christ why do we still need to observe watch and pray because Sometime on this set, we've stated that Christ is no longer dying anymore for the sins of man. That mission has been accomplished. So why the need for us to still observe, watch and pray? If we have stated that this was before or a prerequisite or a precursor to the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Yes, yes our, Lord our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ rightly, rightly is not going to come to die again for us that is true but everything our lord jesus christ did for us was an example he has laid down a footprint for us to follow because he was able to overcome accomplish his mission and then ascended up into glory because he followed the process and he achieved it successfully if you remember he came to redeem man and when he came to redeem man, he came to show us a pathway that we can follow. And what is that pathway? Everything our Lord Jesus Christ did is an example for us to emulate. He came, he fasted, he taught us how to fast. He accepted baptism and laid it down for us as a process for us to be admitted into the order of the heavenly kingdom of God. He taught he preached, he proselytized across the cities to teach us that it's important for us to be a witness of the kingdom of God by telling everyone else about this kingdom, like he told us in Mark, in Mark chapter 16, from verse 15 to 18, that whoever that is believed and baptized shall be saved, and these signs shall follow them. Then with that baptism, we gain salvation, we gain the authority, we gain the power, and then we're able to manifest those signs by going out to do what our Lord Jesus Christ did. Because he said in 1 Corinthians 15, I think from verse 20, that Christ is the first fruits. After that day that are Christ's at his coming. Now his watch and pray, he did it to show us that temptation will come. The hour of trial will come. Every child of God who drink the cup he drank. If you remember when the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee came to him and said, Master, I wish that on your day of glory that my two sons will sit with you, one on my right, one on your right hand and the other one on your left. And they asked the mother, will they be able to pass through the path I will pass? Will they be able to drink the cup that I will drink? She said, yes, they will. He said, yes, to sit on my right or my left is not for me to give. But to drink the cup that I drink and pass through the road I pass, they will show, pass through it. And for you to pass through that road, you need spiritual equipment. For you to be able to cross that path and glorify God, you need the spirit of God to be in you, to guide you every step of the way. And the watch and pray is so strateg strategically positioned. You finish glorifying God on Sunday, the beginning of the week. 
Monday, Tuesday, there are burdens along the way. Wednesday, you watch and pray with him to boost the spirit or the flesh rather to connect to the spirit because say, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The weakness of the flesh will be now strengthened by the spirit of God that fused into it. Thursday, we observe the journey he went on the cross by observing the six to six fasting, equipping the spirit and boosting the flesh for more overcoming and more battle ahead to carry us through the weekend into the beginning of a new week. So that process now keeps the children of God perfectly primed all the way that the evil one cannot lay hold on them. And at each point in time, they will be able to overcome. Because when you watch and you pray, you commune with God, you become alert. And like he said, the, if the good man of the house knows when the thief will come, he would have kept awake. But watching and praying now, he that watches over his house, like he said in Psalm 127 verse 1, that except the Lord watch over the city, the watchman keep it awake, but in vain. And except he build the, the, the walls, the laborers labor in vain. In that watching and praying and communion with the Spirit of God, we surrender everything into him, and he's able to protect us, to watch over us, to guide us, and to lead us on the path that will do that which is pleasing to him, so that on the day of reckoning, will not be found wanting. And that was the major mission of our Father, to prepare you and I, and bring us to the standard required by God, so that on the day of reckoning, we will be able to be justified in his presence. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to pick a thank you so much, your um, thank you so much, your grace, um, Archbishop, and um, your just grace, Archbishop Joseph DK. All right, so All you right. said you wanted so to you add something. something. Yes, okay. you know, like this question you just asked, is Grace Joseph DK, which he had just answered aptly. But I also want to take exactly what the Father said in Everlasting Gospel, Volume One, Chapter Two, Verse Forty-Eight, and I quote: "I want you to observe this Wednesdays, watch and pray." from now till eternity. Mm. Verse 49, as many as will observe it, their problems, sicknesses, court cases, poverty, and wretchedness are all wiped away. Uh, 55, the watch and pray is one of the events observed in respect of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. We also suffer with him and are tortured along with him, are fully liberated from the bondage of evil. These observances reaffirm our belief in him this is also the enabling factor which by his grace salvages us we are also glorified with him in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. so the father has summarized it all it is an exercise that must be observed from now till eternity just like his great jodike have just enumerated the 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 the, the benefits are too enormous the barren are made fruitful. The blind are made to see. Those who are poor are made to reach. Those who are dead are exalted. Those who are all sorry. All in this watch and pray. all in this watch and pray. But so is what, that the essence? The essence is to commemorate, is to celebrate, is to ensure the last things our Lord Jesus Christ passed at Gethsemane. He tarried, he worried, he watched and prayed. The Bible says the sweat that came out from his body was like blood. So that no that period of 12 to 3. If you don't really love him, you will not be awake. That's the time you should have been in your vita form or form sleeping and enjoying. But you see awake, singing, praising, ringing, reading the Bible, reading Psalms, jubilating and extolling and glorifying his name. For exalting him, for glorifying him, he also as a loving father. All the calamities, all the vicissitudes, all the court cases, all the barrenness. All the things we are passing through, he also come and wipe them all away, and at the same time glorify you and illuminate his light upon our life. What other glory is bigger than this? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. Okay, you still want to add? Okay. Yes. Additionally, the significance of uh, watch and pray, watch and pray uh, should not only be restricted to that Wednesday. Okay. Observance on Wednesday. Because it is uh, something that God, as he has read, it is a practice for eternity. Mm. Which means that for the children of God, it is not only on Wednesday night that we have to be alert, you know, throughout the days of our life. Because in Ephesians chapter 6, from verse uh, 10 to 18, 
See, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against principalities and powers of darkness. Yes. And because of that, we have to put on the breastplate of uh, faith, this, that, 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 all the virtues. If we are not alert, if we are sleeping, we cannot overcome this uh, Amagedon war, this war we wage against principalities uh, and powers. And remember also, our Lord Jesus Christ prayed in John chapter 17. And when he prayed concerning his disciples, he said that he knew that they are in the world, but they are not of the world. And he said, Father, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but you should protect them from the evil one. So the watch and pray is designed to give the children of God the spirit of alertness, of vigilance, of uh, awareness, of spiritual consciousness. Every moment of our life, we should be conscious of the presence of God in us and with us. We should be conscious of his uh, teachings, his directives, because as he's directing us, mm. the devil is also, you know, there, you know, seeking for whom to devour. Devour. And the devil is never interested in anyone that God has not placed interest. If God is interested in you, the devil will be interested in you also. That is why the children of God, we have to be vigilant. We have to be alert all the time. And because we know that the evil one is there. And pray without season. Yes, and pray without season. Thank you. So, so the watch and pray means we should be aware all the time. Not only on Wednesday night, but all the days of our life. Every moment of our life. Okay, thank you so much for that interesting um, contribution concerning the main essence of watch and pray. And don't forget, you're still watching the BCS for and More comments are coming from our online <coughs> platform. We have from <coughs> Esther Uduak. She's saying, um, thank you, Father, for a wonderful program. I may want to ask the speakers, is it right for priests in the battle to go beyond 3 a.m. in conducting watch and pray? Some even purposely keep it to, see, uh, to five to do morning devotion. Your Grace, Archbishop Joseph D.K., over to you. Thank you very much. Much as I the From the timing is different. The timing 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. But there's nothing wrong if the spirit carries it on because it is a joy in the spirit. Watch and pray is celebrating, commemorating, rejoicing with the Lord, reminding ourselves of the love God had for us. Because he said, I think in Romans chapter 5, verse 7, that God commended his love towards us, that even while we are yet dead in sin, Jesus Christ died for us. So being that commendation and appreciation of that love of God for us, the spirit could lead in the spirit of joy that it could overlap beyond 3 a.m. into morning devotion because it is a continuous process. It's not strange. The Holy Father sometimes would take us from Bible class to evening devotion, evening devotion to watch and pray, watch and pray to morning devotion to 6 p.m. to 6 to 6 fasting and continue because, like he said, pray without ceasing. There's no limit to the number of times you devote to the praise of God. So I don't see anything wrong if it goes beyond 3 a.m. in the morning. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Would you I like to say something? Okay. 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 Yes. And to also add to my brother, brother said, said, it is very, very, very true. The spirit might take you beyond that tree. I had a, a practical experience when I was in the station, practically, uh, precisely, a papa, better Lagos. I had three choirs in the Bethel, a Papa Bethel choir, Elders choir, and Spirited choir. And uh, during watch and pray, there used to be competition. Mm. Competition for spiritual crosses, competition for the best dancer. You know, there will be healing. So all those activities, members feel they are out of this world, you know. So even, yes. Even when the father and the altar would jingle bell for the song to stop, hey, this choir, you know. So it is a moment filled with a happiness. So it is the spirit that controls watch and pray. If the spirit says stop exactly 12, and the members are willing to stop, good. 
There's no law in brotherhood, but love pulls everything. Together. In the name of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that one, for answering the question from M. Esther um, Udrak. All right, moving forward, we have another comment from Jessica Ongo. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much, Jessica, for watching. And S. Eldrick again is commenting wonderful explanations from all the speakers. Since as a child, I adore, watch, and pray the most because it yields great blessings. Yes, I also share with you that same thoughts because one interesting thing about watch and pray is the spiritual choruses. I think that's the day choruses are always in the highest mood yeah. to deliver new, brand new songs even old tunes and the hall of where the Bethel is usually in high spirit and that moment people would dance people mostly sometimes the people don't even listen to gospel yes, <laughs> they yes. just come for the spiritual songs to sing and right. get a static yes exactly um continue uh we'll continue reading our comments from our youtube channel we have from gladys Onyebo again enjoying the black uh, bible class special greetings to our guests because his grace innocent to many his grace Amen. john better the song and his thank grace you, Julie dk well done our unique presenter sister queen sam thank you so much all right another comment again from sister esther uduak okay she's requesting for a link to join um dry fasting activities in the world headquarters um dear sister esther dry fasting activities is observed in every bethels in brotherhood of the cross and star so if you have a bethel closest to you please ensure you go there physically and join other children of god in observing the dry fasting however if you are in a place where there are no vessels around you and you probably do not want to observe it on your own you can have a link up with the global service team and they'll share with you um the link for the zoom platform where the dry fasting from these days are being um, observed but star cross television will bring the breaking of the dry fasting live to your screen so stay tuned for that which will begin from the evening service of Thursday evening all right let's move forward we have another comment from Kelly Solomon, His Grace, please, I beg you to please reverse the verses you mentioned. Um, the Holy Father said we should read during the watch and pray. Uh, you mentioned a few uh, minutes ago before the presenters before the presenter read all the comments. In the name of our Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. On Thursday 6 a.m., we read Matthew 27 from verse 1 to 44, and by 9 a.m., we read Mark 15. 1 to 33 and by 12 midday we read john 19 from verse 1 to 32 and by 3 p.m we read luke 23 1 to 49 and by 6 p.m we read that same luke 15 from luke 23 from verse 50 to 56 now and forevermore amen thank you so much your grace it will be so if i understand this question correctly i think it's asking for the verses read during Watch and pray. Okay, watch and pray. Yes. Okay, not a uh, Thursday. Not, not okay, not. watch and pray. For the evening segment, we read uh, Luke, uh, Luke 7, um, John, John 17, 17, 1 to the end. Evening prayers. Evening prayers. Okay. Then watch and pray. We read Matthew 26, 1 to the end. Okay, that's the only text. And then the, then the Bible text could be given by the conductor. Okay, mm. thank you very much. All right, Sister Gladys is asking, can you please throw more light on why you said we must watch and pray at all times? And not only on Wednesday marked for this observance, um, your grace, innocent, or many waiting to hear from you on this. We have already said that. Let us take the essence of the watch and pray beyond that Wednesday. So the Wednesday observation is symbolic, and it uh, prompts uh, is calling on all the children of God, the world over, to be always vigilant, to be awake. It is not only on Wednesdays, but all the days of your life, every moment of your life, be conscious of your Father, the Father in you and the Father with you. Be conscious of the words of God. Be conscious of the instructions, the decrees, the directives of the Father, and live with them, because the devil is around you. For instance, this dry fasting, it is not easy for you to stand. Many people are contemplated, will I be able to do it? Or will I die along the way? Will I collapse? But you see, the Holy Spirit energizes you, say, go! You are an overcomer. And here you are overcoming. 
if you had listened to that spirit, remember our, our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted by the devil, turned these stones into bread so that you eat to prove that you are the Son of God. Again, fall down from the mountain, you know, and when you fall down, God will give his angels charge over you so that you not hit your uh, feet against the stone. Another one fall down, he showed him all the wealth, the riches of the world. If you fall down and worship me, then I'll give you all the glories of the earth. As the BCS member, you have done the fast. Remember, this fasting is not done for you to accumulate power so that you'll be operating as a magician. Or you say, okay, for the three days I have accumulated so much power. Let me climb this uh, upstairs and then jump down to prove that I have acquired power. Or you see a moving vehicle. You say, let me cross. The vehicle will hit me. Will not, uh, nothing will happen to me. I have a practical uh, example. When I was in the University of Ibadan, there is one born again young man, born again preacher. You know, that he fasted after his graduation. You know, he fasted and climbed the mountain. He fasted for many days. And when he came down from the mountain, he said he should be allowed to go, you know, and uh, tame the lions in the zoo. You know, all the pleading of the gatekeepers fell on deaf ears. And when they saw the ferocity, the eagerness, the power he was uh, speaking with, they allowed him to go. He never came back alive. You know, the lions fed on him. He had a wonderful breakfast on him. So the power you accumulate during the fasting, it is not the power for you to go and challenge your enemies. Look at now, I am going to speak the word and you disappear. It is the power to love. It is the power to forgive. It is the power to live in peace with one another. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Your Grace Innocent. I hope your question has been answered, um, Sister Gladys Sonyebo. All right, another comment from Jessica Ngo. Again, nice and educative program. Watch and Pray is one important weekly scheduled activity for the father's children to enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, and since we are in the period of the 72 hours dry fasting, um, which is the last phase of the dry fasting in, in our annual activity, and which will usher us into the December Pentecostal Assembly, I'd like to find out, or let us just talk a little about the dry fasting and the essence of the dry fasting in the bible there were notably some dry fastings that or fastings that were held in the bible amongst them were the 40 days and nights that was observed by our lord jesus christ but i'm particular about this three days dry fasting what brings about the three days dry fasting what does it mean or what is the essence of observing these three days dry fasting three times in a year your grace archbishop joseph dk very much you know thank you very like much. we said earlier no. everything we do in brotherhood of the cross and star is commemorative and in appreciation of a divine sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he was in the grave for three days and three nights, and the Holy Father leader, Olumba Olumba Ogu, the supernatural teacher, whom our Lord Jesus Christ prophesied that part of his mission is to reveal to us the hidden things he could not teach us in his days, as well as glorify the Christ. Let me touch that a bit, because some people hold that, oh, that that comforter manifested in Acts chapter two from verses one to five. But the act it manifesting in Acts chapter two verses one to five, the second aspect in verse 14 of John chapter 16 of glorifying the Christ verses 13 and 14 did not take place. And the many things that he has to tell us equally did not take place. Meaning that it is now that prophecy of Christ is fulfilled because the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Now, the prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ fulfilling in the manifestation of the comforter, the supernatural teacher, great leader, Olumba Olumba Obu. He came now to make us understand the essence and the significance of every act of our Lord when he manifested on earth some 2021 years ago. Like for the April Pentecostal dry fasting, 
which normally takes place in the month of March preceding the month of April, he told us it is in commemoration of the supreme sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. We mortify the flesh, purify the temple so that the spirit of the living God can inhabit us. And when he inhabits us now, he will lead us to do that which is pleasing to God. And he, he, once you're buried with the Christ in the spiritual decarnation, you are resurrected with the Christ in glory. That is the significance of the April Pentecostal dry fasting. In August dry fasting, that was the month of revelation. The Holy Father made us understand that was the month our Lord Jesus Christ baptized in the river Jordan. And that was the month he was revealed to the entire world when the spirit of God descended in the form of a dove upon him as he was baptized by Elijah incarnate, which is John the, John the Baptist. And the voice spoke to the humanity and to all creatures that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Having been revealed to humanity now, his mission now commenced in earnest. He was taken into the wilderness to fast 40 days and 40 nights, which is significant also because the children of Israel moving from Egypt to the promised land tra transversed for 40 years. Everything 40 is significant. The same man comes of age at 40. Life begins at 40. Now, that moment of his revelation to, to receive that heavenly being from on high in our appreciation of his revelation to us, the father put us in his infinite wisdom on the second phase of the second term of a three day dry fasting, which usually falls towards the end of the month of July, preceding the month of August, the month of revelation. And even in Brotherhood of the Cross and Side, the kingdom was revealed to the world on the eighth day of the eighth month, which is on the month of August also. Now the December Pentecostal dry fasting which by the grace of our living God and Father Olumba Olumba Obu, we are observing right now, is also in appreciation and preparation to receive the birth, the physical manifestation of the Lord from heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ, whom when he was manifested in that manger through the womb of that humble Virgin Mary, the angels went to the wilderness where the shepherds were taking care of the flock. And it was very, very significant because he came as a shepherd of man. So the angels went to the shepherds of the flock to tell them that unto you this day is born in the city of David, Jesus the Messiah. He said, glory to God in the highest and peace and goodwill to all men. So each of the Pentecostal dry fastings is symbolic and is very deeply spiritual and significant to prepare us to be able to receive the blessings of the season and to be in tune to follow the Lord all the way. The Father in his knowledge has brought it and if humanity today will key into it all over the world, there'll be peace on earth and there'll be abundance and there'll be no destruction or death because he uses that period to wash us clean from sin, purify our hearts, purge us of all iniquities, reprogram and restructure and redirect our minds unto the divine. And in that, man and God will come together at one again. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's have the key for that explanation. Do not forget, beloved brethren, you're watching the BCS Forum. As so far, we've been discussing on watch and pray. And we have also, you know, taken a, a step to explaining what um, the significance of the dry fasting is all about. This is all we have for you on tonight's edition of the BCS Foreigners. So far, I hope that you've been able to understand what Watch and Pray is, the essence of Watch and Pray, how it is being observed in uh, across BCS formations, and of course, the mathematics of the Good Friday. I must say that um, during this period, the, um, the dry fasting, which I know some people will be asking, oh, what about um, topics on fasting? We have actually had um, taken some topics previously on fasting. So if you would like to know more about dry fasting, aside from what His Grace um, Joseph Dickey have said so far, please reflect back to our previous episodes where we discuss extensively on the topic fasting. For now, this is all we can take 
on our edition for tonight on watch and pray i hope you have been able to learn a lot from tonight and i'm also very very thankful to your grace for taking all the resource persons for taking time out to also be here with us i know you are also observing the dry fasting i am so so very very impressed with how strong you are explaining with so much passion and i know that the father has rewarded you immensely Amen. for your efforts thank you also our wonderful viewer for staying tuned with us on this program as we discuss the topic dry fasting and i said dry fasting watch, watch and, and pray. pray and we wish you all the best happy dry fasting may our father continue to strengthen you may our father continue to give you the desires of your heart do not forget the reason for this dry fasting is totally sober reflection forgiveness love and kindness for one another reflect on all the godly virtues god has given to us according to the book of galatians and the blessings of this fasting will never depart from you until we come your way again same time same channel bcs star cross television on the program bcs for Rona. please please remain blessed i remain your host queen sam bye for now and happy dry fasting <music>